Hi, I'm Nancy, and I just built this shoe rack in two days using very simple tools. This sturdy rack is made out of two wooden boards and a bunch of iron pipes and fittings that come together like Lego parts. I wanted to build this shoe rack because all the other shoe racks I've ever had were either flimsy or too small. I wanted something that my grandmother could sit on or my brother could put his foot on and it wouldn't collapse. In this design, I created enough space for us to slide our shoes under the first shelf. Now these are my specifications and you can build yours any way you'd like. The wood I chose to use for this project is a six foot long hobby board from Lowe's that is made of strips of wood glued together. I believe it will be less prone to cupping and warping than single planks. They cost about $15 each. The other materials I will be using are half inch pipe that is threaded on both ends. Here are some 10 inch nipples and five inch nipples. For the feet, I am using three quarter inch to half inch reducer couplings. I also need a lot of floor flanges. Let me pause here. The parts get pretty expensive when you add them up, and you may need to go to several stores to find the quantity that you're looking for. It doesn't matter if they're black or galvanized, just pick the cheaper one. The upside is that I don't have to cut anything, and therefore all I need is a drill and basic tools. Here is some spray paint and a box of screws. I'll also be using a drill, ruler, pencil, drill bit, screwdriver, and sandpaper. Later on, I will stain the wood, so I'll need some stain and a rag or a brush. First, I start by sanding off the sharp edges. Next, I'm gonna build the short legs. I'll attach each five inch nipple to a reducer coupling and floor flange. I'm gonna make five legs one for each corner and one for the center. I want the legs to be the same length, so I tighten the long ones to match the shortest one. In the end, I wasn't able to get them all to match, but I'll think of a solution later. For the longer legs, I have two different types of floor flanges, because that's what was available at the store. I'm going to make sure each leg gets one of the pretty flanges and put those face up on the visible side of the shoe rack. Same as before, I tried to get these to be about the same height. I do a quick assembly to see how the legs fit. Everything seems to fit okay, except for this one short leg that I'm going to move to the middle. Now I'm going to label which leg goes where before staining the boards. I chose a wipe on stain because it's easy and that's what I had lying around. Remember to stain both sides of the board. Finally, I'm going to spray paint the metal parts. After I paint, I break for the day and come back the next day. Now it's time for assembly. I place a leg near each corner and one in the middle. I use a ruler to mark the legs at half a centimeter from the edge. The screws I will be using are 3 quarter inch flathead wood screws. They're a bit shorter than the thickness of the board. I mark a drill bit for pre-drilling so I don't go too far and come out the other side. I drill the screws into place, but it's hard to get them all the way in with the drill at this angle, so 
so I hand tighten with a screwdriver. For the middle leg, I have to do something special because it was too short when tightened. I'm going to try using clear caulk on the threads and hope that I can leave the parts a little loose and that the caulk will freeze them into place. I start placing the long legs on the underside of the top board using the same method as before. I leave these screws loose for now until I attach the other end. I measure a mark where I want the other foot to go and loosely attach them. For the middle leg, I'll just eyeball where it should go to align with the bottom leg. I loosen it to the right length. Finally, I hand tighten all the loose screws. And now I'm finished with my shoe rack. Thanks for watching.